testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is, let me fix that, it is good to be back. A shout out first uh, to my boy Jorge Castaneda from Laredo, Texas on uh, upsetting, uh, sorry about that, um, on upsetting uh, Otha Jones III. Uh, uh, really, really fascinating card, good card. Um, but let's get into it. Um the headline uh, fight, Demetrius Andre outpointed uh, Liam Williams via unanimous decision in what was a really good fight. Uh, but before we break that down, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Um, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Um, eight to ten minutes to keep you up to date on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. We'll be back tonight after tonight's card and do another update. And I'm going to upload also to my new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Great way to segue into that. I break down Castaneda's fight and Omar Juarez from Brownsville, Texas. Big day for South Texas. I'm going to break down both those fights. And I'm going to break down um, tonight's fights uh, on, on this channel and on my Texas Boxing Scene channel, which please like and subscribe to. Uh, I'm going to break down uh, the two Texas fighters. Um, yeah, um, and then also in the link, in the, there's a link in the description to Taka. Uh, this is National Autism Month. Taka is the autism community in action. It's a great charity. Please share the link. If you can, please donate to it. But let's get right into it. Uh, Demetrius Andre, what can you say? Put on a Demetrius Andre type performance. It was what it was, you know, um, <laughs> Like if you could put an Andre performance in a nutshell, this is what it was. He got off to a great start, almost stopped Liam Williams in the second round, uh, was up 2 nothing early, up three points early with the knockdown, and then let this throw up the gas. Uh, Williams rallied in the fourth and the fifth. I'm, yeah, I uh, know the third and the fourth he rallied. Um, I, I, I had him winning those rounds, and then Andre got back in control, and then Andre had uh, Andre got back in control in the middle rounds, dominated the fight. I had Williams winning one or two more rounds after that. Uh, 116, 111, I think. You know, two of the judges had it a little wider. Um, I think 116, 111 is, is the most common card out there, uh, which would be the third and the fourth, and then maybe the seventh and the tenth. I think it's about right. Um, but let me know what you guys think. How did you have it? Um, I it, Andre is what he is. He's got a ton of skills. He's a good fighter. Athletic, quick, powerful. The tools are there. There just doesn't seem to be any dog in him. Like, 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 no one, like, they have to light, light, a, light a fire underneath them or something. Like, get them going. Uh, and then, in the middle rounds, and light the fight, it's just one punch at a time. There's no combination punching at all. I put that on, on, on Twitter. It's a shame. He doesn't know how to slash can't throw combinations. It's He's looking for the uppercut. He's trying to land that uppercut, and that's it. And then sometimes he'll throw a hook to the body or a straight left hand. But it, it's... Look, he's, he, he, his athleticism and his skill are going to carry the day against Liam Williams. The fight kind of looked like I I, I expected. Um, if you go back and you listen to my other video, I kind of gave a breakdown of what I thought would happen. I said, you know, Liam Williams can't win on points, uh, but he can win. His only path to victory is is that right hand. Um, he's got to hurt him, and then he's got to, you know, follow up on it. And he had some moments. He landed some good right hands, but it wasn't enough to win r enough rounds. He didn't he didn't carry the day. He didn't hurt him bad enough to get inside and, and unleash on him. Um, I wanted to see um, Williams go to the body, which he didn't do at all. Um, I, I, I said he had to slow him down because he landed some shots. If he could have slowed him down with the body work, he could have had some more success. But again, Liam Williams is a good fighter. Um, Andre is a, is. A class act with skills. But if anyone's saying that this is the guy that's going to beat Canelo, come on. This guy's not beating Canelo. He got touched up by Liam Williams. He's not beating Charlo. It's not that his skills aren't there. His skills are there. He just, like, falls asleep. And it's not overly impressive stuff. You know, it's not. Um, I, I, You know, 
I think Andre, again, I don't know that he'd be Triple G either. I, I, I don't because he just falls asleep. He doesn't finish guys, right? Like he hurts everyone. He knocks down almost everyone. Get on it and finish it. I, I don't understand why he doesn't do it. And I, it, it was the same thing with the kid, Espino, in the uh, undercard. The kid from Vegas. Ton of skills. No fire. No dog in him. Uh, Andre's got to let it go. When Andre hurts somebody, finish him. Get him out of there. Look, Liam Williams was dangerous for a while. Why? Because you let him hang around. You let him hang around, and you play with your food too much. You hurt someone like that, get him out. He's got the power. He's got this girl sitting there, throwing one shot at a time, looking to land a home run. One shot at a time isn't going to work. So let the hands go. Work off the jab. The jab is good. Mix in the body shots. And then throw in the combination once you hurt him. Because you can hurt him. Because you can land at will. But he just doesn't throw it after the first couple rounds. It's just a reoccurring trend with Demetrius Andre. So what's next for Andre? You know, that's that's like the big question. You know, Eddie Hurts said he'd go to Fox and, and, and fight Charlo. He, he you know, um, they made fun of the opponent that he was fighting, which is uh, Montiel, which is not a great opponent. I don't think it's a terrible opponent either. Um, they said by Triple G. Triple G has a fight set for December, where in April, take a fight in the summer. I agree. Why not fight Boo Boo in July? Why not? Um, Boo Boo would, would would take it. I I don't know who's gonna fight him. I I really don't. If he wants to go up to sixty eight. Could Jacobs fight him? I, I don't know. Again, I, I you know I think at 68, there's more fights for him. But is he a 60? He's a two-division world champion, 54 and 60. Is he going to be just as good in his third weight class? Or, or, or is it too, you know what I'm saying? Andre's not going to be a 60 forever. But when he goes to 60, is he world champion? He's already 33. He doesn't have a creative fighting fight, but he does have really good skills. I don't know where Andre goes from here. Um, no one seems to want to fight him. I would... I'm trying to think uh, a, a fight for him, and, and it's tough at 60. All the good fights go at 68. The only one I can think of, because Triple G is not fighting him. Uh, the only one I can think of is Charles, because Charles is in the same position where he's not getting fights. Fight each other. Laura's going to 160. I mean, we talked about that at 154. Can we do it at 160? I mean, something. They said it'd go to Fox. Make it happen. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Were you impressed? How would you grade? I, I'm going to give Andrade a C plus. It was an okay performance. It was what I expected. The fight kind of went what I wanted. What do you guys think of Andrade? Where does he go next? And how would you rate his performance? Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight to ten minutes. We're back later today, and on the new channel, we're gonna we're gonna do a show on. Um, we're gonna break down. Um, Omar Juarez, who will get the win tonight, and. Uh, Castillo, who, who scored a massive old performance, uh, an upset victory over uh, Ola Jones, the third, uh, earlier in the day. We're going to break down all that. Uh, also, there's a link and it, uh, in the description for Taka talking about curing autism. It is National Autism Awareness Month. Guys, please share it. Please share it. It's a worthwhile cause and donate to it if it's uh, if funds are allow you to do that. Uh, it is April 17th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.